the culture ugly enough to where you're going to want to die. Monopolizing the internet, Comcast gobbles up Time Warner. Imperium in Imperio will govern your internet connection. There can be only one. Competition is a sin, said the robber baron John D. Rockefeller. His maxim, a rule of conduct for large corporations for well over 100 years, will soon govern how you receive your internet signal and how much you pay for it. That's right, in many areas of the country, you only have one internet provider. The old powerful Comcast, who censored us many times. Homeland Security to activate nationwide license plate data recognition database and are encouraging police and other citizen spies to take photos of license plates and feed them into Homeland Security's database. They had this up 20 years ago, folks. They're just letting the slaves know about it now. That's up on InfoWars.com. I'm going to stop right there and go to your phone calls. Finish your point, sir. You were bringing up the resolution last week by Congress that was a huge number. I, for, I, I forget the vote. Guys, pull up congressional resolution supporting uh, Ukrainian demonstrators. Uh, and uh, again, my issue is the Soros groups running it to overthrow the country, to move missiles in against Russia, which is an act of war, which is getting involved in somebody's politics. And it's very, very dangerous. Go ahead and make your point. Yeah, uh, Alex, uh, what this does is, you know, give them the opportunity or give that nut Obama the opportunity, uh, you know, to use thermonuclear war. When do Republicans and Democrats agree on anything? The NDAA. I mean, this is the kind of stuff where we have so-called bipartisan cooperation. We don't need that. Every time they do that, it's uh, future destruction of a liberty or blowing up the world. The other thing, I, I want to comment on what you said about Iran, because take a look at the fact that in the United States we have different factions. Neocons have been beating the war drums for years on Iran. And I would assume the same thing goes on within the country of Iran. We have ships off their shores. Why is that okay? But if they say they're going to bring a ship off of our shores, everybody gets excited about it. You know, this may be just playing to their own domestic situation there in Iran. I well, listen, listen, listen. Listen, I have really tried to stop an attack on Iran, and that's on record, that. and I want to be clear. I their that. chairman of their Joint Chiefs came out two weeks ago, and I didn't just believe the Israeli papers. I went and looked it up on the Farsi, on the Iranian, and I saw it in English-speaking press TV, and said, you know, they better not start something with us. we got sleeper cells inside their country. That's just inviting the globalists to stage stuff and then use that against Iran. And Iran has been putting out promo videos, blowing up Israel, attacking the U.S. interest. Uh, I'm saying the U.S., the globalists running the U.S. have been dealt to defeat, overthrowing Iran's ally, Syria, who's doing nothing, and, and really being positive and trying to have peace. I mean, they're, they're good guys compared to Iran. Uh, I don't support a lot of what the mullahs do. And, and, and so my issue is, is they should be de-escalating stuff now that the sanctions are being talk, taken off. Okay, why, why say they'll blow us up? Why put the videos out? Why say they'll attack the aircraft carriers? And all this rhetoric when the West is going into a um, conciliatory motion? Well, you know, it's red meat for their population. The other thing that, you know... But I don't even agree with that because be the most of their population here. likes the, 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 the U.S. I'm sorry, go ahead. I think, I think Netanyahu is as nuts as... Obama, I think he wants destabilization throughout the entire Middle East, and we see it. I don't think Who's there's any question. I don't think there's any question that Netanyahu to mop up all of these up. You know these. Then, no, I, I hear you. I got to go. I, I appreciate your call, but but what I'm trying to say here is, I don't have any doubt that Netanyahu or his interest do want to destabilize. The Middle East. And I think that's a bad policy to try to destabilize people so you're on top of them. And that's actually the U.S. policy, balkanization, breakup, destabilization. I don't like it. That's what I'm saying. Iran's got the same kind of policy Israel does. That's what I said last week about all this. And I agree. They, they all will use it domestically to try to crack down and take liberties. I mean, if the West attacks Iran, that'll keep the Moodles in another 20, 50 years.
maybe a hundred. And I just don't like authoritarianism of any stripe. And I just wish we could be friends with Iran. That's what I'm saying. Attention gun owners. It's reasonable to assume that at some point you may need to defend your family from an armed attack. But is it reasonable to mount a defense without a strong offense? Infidel body armor goes on in seconds. Is civilian legal in all 50 states? Is 100% made in the USA? Is veteran owned and ships next business day for free? Go to infidelbodyarmor.com. I-N-F-I-D-E-L bodyarmor.com. Infidel body armor just won't quit. Did you know that organic sulfur can cleanse and defend your body against the poisons we're exposed to each day? Organic sulfur crystals from sulfurdefense.com help by forcing oxygen and nutrition into your cells while eliminating heavy metals, contaminants, and damaging radiation. Defend yourself and family from toxic assault with one of the most critical and essential minerals available today. Order online at sulfurdefense.com. That's sulfurdefense.com. Or call 800-593-6273. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. For thousands of years, silver has been used as both a medicine and a preservative, but not all silver is equal. Supernatural Silver is an amazing new technology that has been clinically shown to be several hundred times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. Supernatural Silver resonates at the same frequency as germicidal light used in labs to kill bacteria and viruses. Supernatural Silver is a broad-spectrum microbial that creates no resistance and does not harm beneficial bacteria, making it ideal for daily use. It can be used internally as well as topically and is highly effective against bacterias, viruses, molds, and yeast. Supernatural Silver liquid and gel are perfect for on-the-go or emergency preparedness and can provide protection at home, school, or work. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and remember the promo code SILVER2014 for 20% off. That's SupernaturalSilver.com. SupernaturalSilver.com. Give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. And I've been waiting. Monday through Friday, we're here, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Back weeknight, 7 o'clock Central, InfoWars Nightly News. Find Showtime's listing, more details, InfoWarsNews.com. And don't forget the Sunday transmission, which I'll be hosting this Sunday. I was out last Sunday. 4 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. I want to go back to your phone calls, but I've got some really amazing news that just came in that's going to tie in to Mark Moreno joining us in the next segment. 
Here it is. One in four Americans unaware that Earth circles sun. I bet money that Mark Dice could go out in L.A. and that he, and that three out of I mean, and, and by the way, he doesn't edit that except for cutting out the spaces. He really shows you, you know, that nine out of ten say put gun owners in camps, kill them, uh, put anyone who isn't a communist in a camp, kill them. I mean, this is this is the Democrats, the most mindless, dumbest people in America. And I'm just sorry, it's true. I bet in Austin, in a trendy area, two out of four won't know the Earth circles the sun. But you need to ask it like, we need to sign a petition because the Earth, due to global warming, uh, is causing problems with the sun orbiting us. So we need to sign a petition to have us stop global warming because it's, it's changing the sun's orbit of the Earth. And if you ask it like that, I bet three out of four. If you said, we need to sign a petition to regulate the sun orbiting the Earth for Obama, that's how the question would be asked. I bet three out of four trendies, if you did it in front of like Democratic Party headquarters, I'm not joking, would actually sign the thing. If you said, for Obama, we need to have taxes to help the sun orbit the Earth better, they will sign. The key is for Obama. For Obama, we're going to put all conservatives in slave labor camps. And then we're going to kill them. And people in English go, good. You say, you want to kill them? They go, you don't have to tell me, buddy. I want to kill them. And they're like, nod. They go, hmm. So these are good people. These are, these are the liberals. These are the open-minded people. But it, it shows some hope that only one out of four doesn't know the Earth orbits the sun. I mean, I thought Copernicus, you know, had that figured out. Uh, let's talk to Art in Nebraska. You're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, how you doing, Alex? I'm doing all right. Talk to you. Uh, I know I want to utilize my time quickly here. I just want to say that I've recently started waking up, and I've been using most of my free time to try and get educated. I just figured out like a week ago that 9-11 was an inside job. It's like, oh, my God, you know, that's, that's not cool. That kind of pisses me off. Oh, no, we, I mean? we kind of got some bad people running things, yeah. Mm hmm I mean, so I'm just trying to get caught up on everything, and, you know, I'm the type of guy that uh, is very vocal when I get going, and on something like, for example, one of the questions I had for you is, do you have any talking tips, or where do I start or begin? There's so many things to talk about, like when I get on talk radio, I mean, what do I bring up? And then number two, what about me? I'm, I'm looking at all this stuff. I watch your program. Everything is on the Internet. I mean, am I being stupid? Uh, what do I need to do there? And I also wanted to comment that, yeah, the, the New World Order, they're scared of guns, all right, pointed at them. That's the problem. The two holy grails, the way I see it, is them taking our guns and our Internet so they can take our money. And our privacy and, uh, so they can then game the whole political system against us. Well said. Let me try to give you my answer to your first question. It's a big deal. You can take any topic, national or local talk radio is covering, and cover the topic. Give them your take on it, not lie to the screener, and then add to it that, well, yeah, I mean, you know, Obama is becoming a dictator, but the problem is the very same offshore special interests that are tax exempt own the Republicans as well. So what do we do about monopoly capitalism getting rid of our real capitalist system? You know, that's what you don't cover on conservative talk radio is the other side of it. That's why we can't get Democrats to join us. And get out of this paradigm is because they see the hypocrisy of the Republicans. So the two hypo hypocritical systems prop each other up because folks think that's the only choice. And, then, you know, that's an example. Or let's say they're talking about the city going bankrupt. And you call them saying, well, why do we double the cost to treat the water when, you know, they've done all this just so that we get bought out by foreign interests? We need to get the fluoride out of the water, blah, blah, blah. Any topic you can hijack. Now, as for... The Internet, I think it's good if you have the time and the energy to try to protect your identity from because there's hackers, there's government people, there's data miners. Everybody should try to get basic, well-known, certified systems that protect your identity, protect your information, that have good histories of trying to protect their data. Big box stores, big banks, they're the worst. Government, it's the worst sieve. And then the worst things get, they want more of our data and more proof of who we are, which only makes it worse. So the answer is keep cash in the equation as well. Uh, but at the same time, politically, I wouldn't be scared of them knowing who you are. I would politically be very open because we need to show other people that liberty is popular, that freedom should be re-legalized because good hides in plain sight. Evil you know, tries to hide in the dark. So it's very important that we not be secret agent-esque about what we're doing, but that we be out in the open because we're the good guys. We're the leaders. We'll be right back.
We're on the march. The Empire. 